Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to my channel. It's Brittany here with another video to help you guys live a happy, healthy, awesome life in a wheelchair. And today I want to talk to you guys all about the different types of female catheters um, and the situations in which they would be useful for and why you might choose one catheter over another one. Uh, I know that I use the same pediatric catheter for years, specifically this one. It was like a 10, uh, a 10 French pediatric catheter that's about 10 inches long and I just continued to use this uh, all the way out of the hospital and for years and years because it was what I was used to and I didn't do any research on what kinds of catheters there were until uh, I started talking to some friends and I had a friend uh, that started selling catheters and he was like, hey, do you wanna try some stuff? So he would give me some free samples and I didn't even realize that a lot of the catheter companies will give you free samples. Um, I am a brand ambassador for Coldplast because that is what I have always used. So I'm gonna be talking about Coldplast today and I'm only gonna be talking about female catheters in, except for um, a male catheter in the case that it would be beneficial for a female. So I'll talk about one type of male catheter, but the rest of the catheters that I'm gonna talk about today are all female catheters and they're all Coldplast. Um, and I will leave links to everything that I'm going to talk about in the description below. So if you're interested in trying any of these catheters, you can order free samples um, off of the Coldplast website. You just have to pick which uh, option that you want, the length, um, the French, that kind of thing, and they'll send you a free sample. There's also this amazing sample box that they have right now that has um, all of the compact uh, female catheters and they have one in the, the male, um, all of the male uh, catheters as well. Um, and I'll leave a link to where you can get this free sample box in the description of this video as well. So lots of ways to get free catheters to try um, and just see if any of them might work better for you than what you're currently using or yeah, if, if you just wanna try something. So let's get into it. Um, I'm gonna talk about each catheter and sort of the, the things that they, the situations in which they are most beneficial for from my perspective. So this is me talking to my friends, me uh, and my own life experience and just the experience that I've garnered from being around lots of people with disabilities. Uh, this is by no means like a cold class perspective on what their catheters are good for. It's just what I think uh, and what I've heard my friends say. So just wanted to get that out of the way so you're not like, calling Coloplast and be like, well, she said this catheter would work really good in this situation. Um, and so I'm not, I'm not, you know, I'm a brand ambassador, but everything I talk about is from my own perspective. Okay, so starting off with the catheters that I use, I'll talk about this pediatric one um, first. And it is a uh, 10 French specifically. I don't even know if you can get pediatric catheters in bigger than a 10 French but it's a 10 French, this one is, and it's 10 inches long or 25 centimeters. And at the uh, end of the video, uh, once I talk about all of these catheters, I'm gonna put, um, I'll lay them all out in different lengths so you can see the difference in sizes against a measuring tape. So um, you can skip to the end of the video if all you're interested in the diff is in the different sizes of all of these different catheters. So this one is 10 inches or 25 centimeters. And the reason that I still use this one, I actually use it at night is because it's very flexible and I pee into a container and I need to be able to bend the catheter um, from my urethra towards the container and it's really flexible in order to do that. I'll insert a little video of that while I'm talking because um, I have videos of me peeing at night and I'll show you uh, why this one works for me. So this is the one that I use uh, at night and I really like it for that. I don't like that it's 10 French because it takes a long time to empty which is super annoying, but this one is um, a longer length. So if you cath out of your wheelchair like me or into a container, this one uh, would be a better use than one of the other ones that I'm gonna talk about, uh, the smaller female catheters. So this is the first one that I'm talking about and the one that I use at night. This second one that I'm gonna talk about is the Speedy Cath Standard. Um, catheter and it is a hydrophilic catheter. Oh, I forgot to talk about that. So this catheter is a standard catheter, which is a PVC material. And that's just a, a type of plastic and it's non-hydrophilic. So you have to use lubricant on it 
in order to insert it into your urethra or you should use lubricant. Some people don't use lubricant, but you should. Uh, it's less dangerous for a female not to use lubricant because our urethra is only uh, like 1.5 inches long or three to four centimeters. It's really short, so it's like this long. Um, whereas a male urethra is very long, depending on the size of, you know. Um, so it can be a various different lengths. Um, and they have to insert that um, poking along the whole way. So they should never not use lube. Females should always use lube too, but um, it's less it's less of a urethra to harm. So these standard catheters you need to use lubricant with, whereas a hydrophilic catheter is a polymer of PVC and silicone, and it actually um, absorbs and attracts water once it become once it comes in contact with water, and the water binds to the polymer um, of the material of the catheter. It makes like a really slippery surface. And that makes these hydrophilic catheters ready to use. So you don't have to use lubricant and it actually lubricates the entire length of your urethra because the whole catheter is lubricated because it comes in a saline solution. So the water is already in here and it's binding to the, uh, the polymer, making it a really slippery catheter. So these ones are awesome. They're more expensive, but they're better for you and they're ready to use. And hydrophilic catheters are, uh, less likely to come into contact with bacteria because you don't have to put them in any other thing. Like you don't have to add the um, the lubricant, so it's less 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 contact with other things um, and less chances of getting bacteria on it. So these ones are just overall a better catheter if you can afford it, if you have insurance. Um, and so I would highly recommend hydrophilic. Okay, so the second one that um, I use is the SpeedyCath standard hydrophilic catheter. I use this one because it is a longer length. And if you've seen how I pee, if you haven't seen how I pee, I'll link to those videos. I pee from my chair into a container. And the other catheters that I'm gonna talk about just aren't long enough to go from inside my bladder to the container. Uh, they're ju they just fall short. And so I use this one because I like the length. I also really like that it has like this uh, sticky thing on the back that you can pull off and stick to anything, um, a table or whatever, and it'll hold the catheter uh, somewhere within your reach, which is awesome. And then on this side, it has a little hole that you can hang on things. Uh, so it's just a convenient catheter and I like the length. So that's why I use this one. Um, the length of this one, I forgot to say, sorry, I'm gonna talk about the length of all of them. The length of this catheter is, I wrote it down somewhere, it's 20 centimeters or eight inches. So again, I will put uh, the lengths of all of these against a measuring tape when I'm done this, but I'll just tell you the lengths as I'm talking about them. So 20 centimeters or eight inches is this SpeedyCath standard uh, hydrophilic catheter. Okay, um, the next one that I'm going to talk about is, uh oh, where did it go? Oh, there it is. It rolled into the thing. So this one is the Speedy Cath uh, Compact Female, and it's just a tiny little thing. Like it almost looks like lip gloss, and you have to open it up, um, twist it. I can get it. Twist it and pull it out. Blah! See all the water come out. Um, and it comes out like this. And then this is actually the, the catheter part goes in your urethra and then it drains out this end. And then when you're done with it, you can um, put it back together, I think. Maybe not. I've never used this one before. I have no idea if you can put it back together. I lied. I don't know. Somebody say in the comments if you can put this back together. I'm not really sure. But um, this is how long it is. Um, I wrote these all down. So the Speedy Cath Compact Female is seven centimeters in length and you can get, this is the standard length or you can get one that is extra long and they call that the plus and it's about a one inch difference. So nine centimeters instead of seven centimeters. Um, and this one is ideal if you are sitting on the toilet. So if you're one of those females that likes to transfer or can transfer easily, get your pants up and down, this uh, is really easy because it's going straight up and down into the toilet. You don't need lots of length because you're just capping straight into the toilet bowl. 
Um, the benefits of capping straight into the toilet bowl is once you are sitting at, sitting over the toilet bowl, your urethra is basically up and down and your bladder, the where it's draining, uh, has more of a chance to get all of the urine out. So the if you're laying down on a bed and you're capping with something like this, or you're capping from your chair with something like this, your your bladder is just not gravity is not helping essentially uh drain your bladder and so there's always like a smidgen of urine still in there and that increases your chances of uti a little bit um i have a friend that sits on the toilet uh to cath and she i don't think she ever gets utis like she had someone she was pregnant but she rarely ever gets utis just because she doesn't have as much um urine a uh, residual urine in her bladder and that doesn't uh allow the bacteria to multiply like in the moist wet environment so uh this one ideal for cathing on the toilet it's also like amazingly small so you can stick a million of these in your purse without taking up space um my catheters are kind of annoying because they're bigger and i have to take like i use like 10 a day at least i pee a, a lot because i drink a lot of water uh, and they take up a lot of space so it's annoying when i'm traveling they take up a lot of space whereas this one not very much space. You could travel with a ton of these and still have a lot of room in your bags. Whereas this one takes up a lot of room. So that's kind of one of the benefits of these little ones, uh, but they're not very useful unless you sit on the toilet. Okay, next one is the very similar. It is the Speedy Cath Compact Eve. Oh, I should say this one is hydrophilic too. So um, the first one that I talked about wasn't hydrophilic and these other ones that I'm talking about are hydrophilic. So they're all ready to use. You don't have to use lubricant. This is the Eve and it's very similar to the Speedy Cath um, Compact that I was talking about, except that it looks a little bit more like mascara and it is the size of the plus length. So it's the nine inch length instead of the seven inch and it's flat so it doesn't roll. So this one, if you like set it on something, it could potentially roll off of it, which is annoying. Uh, this one doesn't roll, so you could set it on like a toilet paper holder or something like that, and it would stay where it is. Again, you just like twist. I don't know which side they come up out of. Eh. Which side is it coming out of? There. So it's coming out of this side. This one, I think you can put it back together. Yes. See, I knew one of them you can put back together. I don't know if you could put that other one back together. But this one is, uh, again, really small it drains out this end so this part goes in your urethra and this is the drain uh, and then when you're done you can stick it back together and chuck it in the garbage and it looks just like mascara again very small so it's discreet and you could travel with a crap ton of these and it wouldn't take up a whole lot of room in your bags um this one is another one that is better if you're sitting on the toilet because it's small and it just doesn't breach a really long length if you're cathing into something. So uh, similar benefits as the Speedy Cath um, Compact. This one just has a few more extras. So that is the fourth one. I don't even know what I'm on. I don't know why I bother counting. I literally cannot count and I don't write down which ones I'm on. So just never mind. It's the next one that I'm talking about. Okay, um, and then the next one in the female set is the Speedy Cath Compact Set. And this one is awesome. I love it. Um, I could not find anywhere on the website how long this one is. I couldn't find that anywhere. So I'm just gonna measure it really quick right now with my measuring tape. Um, but this one I use a lot for traveling. So the Speedy Cath Compact Set is essentially a catheter and a bag all in one. So you like twist it and then, I don't know which side it's coming out. This is the bag. And then um, the bag comes out here. And then you twist again, and there's the catheter. So I think it's very similar to the Eve if we compared them. Let's do that. Let's compare to the Eve. And then this has a valve that lets the pee go in, but it can't go back out. So that's awesome. So it's not gonna spill anywhere. So the bag isn't gonna, like if you tipped it over, it's not gonna come back out. Um, let's see. Uh, okay. I've got the Evo. Let's see. Yeah. They're like really similar, like super similar in size. So it looks like the Speedy Cath compact set is like a smidge 
smidge bigger. So this one is nine inches. This one looks like it's like nine and a little bit inches. Very similar uh, in size. Um, and because this one has a bag attached, uh, I use it when I'm traveling and I don't have to reach into my container or anything because the bag is attached to it. So a lot of times I will cath on a plane like this. If I have to do it in the seat that I'm sitting in, I'll just sort of scooch forward and put like my coat over my lap or whatever and cath into this. And then I always carry like grocery bags in my carry on and then just like stick it in a double bag grocery bag and like give it to the um, flight attendant. She can chuck it in the garbage, she doesn't even know what's in it. Uh, but if I can get to the bathroom, I will go to the bathroom myself and I will actually transfer to the toilet um, and then I will sit on the toilet and cath using this and then chuck this in the bathroom garbage in the airplane. Um, it's just easier than um, me trying to cath into the toilet. I did it one time because I can't, there's not really water in the toilet. So you can't hear when you're done cathing into the toilet. And I was like trying to like look and see when the pee was stopping coming out of the catheter. And I directed the catheter like this way and I peed all over my butt cause I, I have a zipper in my pants. So I didn't take my pants down. So I like had pee all over my pants uh, when I was traveling and it was like so uncomfortable. I was like, okay, well I cathed, but I cathed all over myself. It was terrible. So this is just an awesome solution. The pee's not gonna go anywhere but in the bag. Another great thing about this is if you have to take a sterile urine, urine sample, sterile urine sample, um, then it goes into this sterile bag and you can just like eat, cut a little hole in this and like rip it off maybe. You like rip it off, but um, you could, oh, right here, there's like a little thing that you could like pour, rip, cut a little hole here and then like pour this into the actual urine cup, which is awesome because um, whenever I'm taking a urine sample, I'm trying to like hold my, the male urinal, um, and the, the pee cup thing at the same time and then remove one. It's just a, such a nightmare. I hate taking urine samples. So this is such a cool uh, solution if you have to take a urine sample. Again, it's a little bit pricey, but a lot of times insurance will cover this and people use this exclusively. It's great for nighttime um, because you can cath into this and you're not gonna spill. I have containers uh, in my nightstand and sometimes they do spill, like it's super annoying, like drip all over my nightstand and then I have to like replace the wood on the bottom every once in a while because it starts to smell like pee, which is gross, TMI probably, but um, just the realities of my life. So this one probably would be easier for me to use if um, I got used to it. I just have been using that other, other system for so long that I'm so used to that. Okay, so that is the, uh, that is the Speedy Cath Compact Set. Okay, um, next one I'm going to talk about, and I think this is actually the last one, um, is the uh, male catheter, standard catheter. So I didn't actually talk about the female standard catheter. So this female standard catheter looks exactly like this male one. Uh, except it's shorter. Uh, this is a non-hydrophilic catheter and the, the male length is 40 centimeters or 16 inches and the female length is six inches or 15 centimeters. So the male one is a lot longer. Obviously males have to have a lot longer, but I have a lot of friends that use male catheters because they cath in their chair like I do, but they don't cath into a container. They just scooch their scooch really close to the toilet. And this usually bridges the gap between where their butt is and the toilet. And if it doesn't bridge the gap, I'll show you guys a little trick. And I'll actually link to a video that my friend uh, Tanel has, um, Pro Tips for Paras. If you're not familiar with her channel, you can go check it out. Um, so she takes a, a male catheter like this, and then she opens both sides of the catheter, um, catheter container or like the packaging. So she does this and then she like pulls it out and casts but leaves the end in and, ooh, hang on, leaves the end in and then it's like extends the catheter. So there's a hole at this end if you open the packaging and then it's longer. So you can like, just like hang this into the toilet and it'll cath through the catheter into the packaging, into the toilet. And Tanel has a video on how she does that. So I'll link to that. But this is another uh, sort of solution for females if they like to cath in their chair like I do and they don't have a container to cath into. 
um, it works really well. So that's all of the female catheters or the catheters that at least I'm gonna, I'm gonna talk about. I'm pretty sure I talked about all the female catheters, but all the catheters that I think are useful for females um, to use when they're in a wheelchair or if they have any other neurological conditions. Sometimes you're not in a wheelchair if you have to cath, but these are all of the catheters that I think um, are important for you to know about and the reasons why I think they're beneficial in different situations and how I've seen my friends use them uh, and how I use them. So if you want to get a, like I said, a sample pack like this, it comes with all of the compact catheters. So it doesn't come with the catheter that I use. It doesn't come with this one. And uh, you can, I'll put a link to where you can go and fill out a form and you can get this free of charge. Uh, Cole Plus will send it to you. So you can go do that if you want. And if you're interested in winning all the catheters that I use, uh, right now there is a giveaway going on for $1,000 worth of these catheters, which is six boxes. So I'll put a link to that if you wanna go ahead and enter that giveaway. Um, and then the last thing I wanna talk about is Whole Plast is doing a survey right now on the usage and funding of catheters here in Canada. So this is for my Canadian friends. Uh, the survey takes about five to 10 minutes, but it's gathering data essentially uh, about catheter usage and funding around uh, Canada so that they can improve catheter funding for those of us living here in this country, because God knows we all need better catheter coverage. Catheters are expensive and most of us are either under using the catheters that we should or under drinking what we should in order to save catheters or we're washing catheters, which isn't as good for us as using single use catheters, just ha carries with it more health risks. So if you wanna go and do that survey, you can win an Apple iPad Air just for taking the five to 10 minutes to fill it out, which is awesome. Um, you do have to be Canadian, like I said already, excluding Quebec. Uh, sorry for those of you in Quebec, but um, you guys always have different rules for for like contests and things. So blame your government. Don't blame Coloplast. Don't blame Coloplast. They didn't exclude you on purpose. Um, okay, that's all I wanted to do in this video, guys. Um, I will, like I said, pop on here a little picture of all of the catheter lengths um, along a tape measure so that you can see all of the different ones side by side um, and make a like a visual comparison. I'm a visual person, so I'll do that while I'm talking right now while I'm talking um, so that you can see. I will put all of the links to everything I talked about in the description of this video. If you have any questions, please put them in the comments and I will do my best to answer them. Um, and if I can't answer them, I will forward them to somebody at Coloplast that can answer them. If you would like to reach out to Coloplast yourself, there is Coloplast Care, which is a resource for anybody. You don't have to be um, a Coloplast customer to be able to uh, access information about how to use catheters, about all of their products, about catheter funding. There's just so many different things that Coloplast Care provides in terms of support. So um, I'll put a link to that as well in the description of this video and you can go check that out if you have any questions or feel like you need support in finding what catheter is best for you or what catheter might work best uh, in your life. Um, what else? I think that's it. That's all I wanted to do in this video is just give you guys all the, the lowdown essentially on all the catheters that uh, you have available to you so that you aren't like me and use a pediatric catheter for like 10 years when you didn't have to be using that. Uh, Cause there's the, all these catheters are useful in different situations. So I hope this was useful to you guys and I hope you guys have an awesome week. Um, thank you so much for watching and I will catch you back here on another video. Bye guys.